Our story begins with Homelander stopping some criminals in front of a bunch of kids with the assistance of Queen Maeve. Then we see Huey Campbell and his girlfriend Robin walking along the road and BAM can't stop the A-Train and all that's left of Robin is her arms. Then we see Starlight audition to join the Seven and she gets the part in place of Lamplighter. Huey meanwhile is scrambling ways to get back a vault for killing his girlfriend and they ask him to sign an NDA with a compensation fee of 45k but he refuses. Then Starlight is officially announced to join the Seven by the Deep and he shows her around Vault Tower where he flashes her and and threatens her and says that the only way for her to survive in the seven if she does the deed using her mouth. Huey then meets Billy Butcher who says he is from the FBI and asks to join him in the fight against soups. After Billy exposes the soups as corrupt, Billy and Huey then head to a superhero bar where they see the real soups and Huey finds a video of A-Train laughing at the death of Robin. Meanwhile Vault CEO Madeline Stillwell during a trade deal regarding the Nubian Prince gets told about rumours circulating about Compound V which is dropped as a negotiation tool and she's in denial about these rumours. Annie is then sitting on a park bench crying when she comes across Huey and the two then start talking about what's troubling them. Huey then motivates Annie into fighting back against the deep and Annie motivates Huey into helping Butcher. Huey then calls up the vault representative and agrees to sign the NDA but only if A-Train is physically there to apologize, to which Vault agrees. But the actual plan is for Huey to bug Vault Tower to help Billy. Starlight then joins her first meeting of the seven where she stands up to the deep. Huey then plants the bug and Billy then sends Huey back so that he can live his normal life. But Huey doesn't want to. However, it turns out that Huey was being tracked by Translucent who follows him to his shop and attacks Huey. He questions him about the bug and Butcher then arrives to save the day, except for the fact that neither of them can see Translucent, but fear not as blood spat on him will make him visible. And then they electrocute his butt. Remember the guy who threatened Stillwell about Compound V? Homelander is sent after him and well, I guess you know what's going to happen next. We then find out that Billy isn't actually part of the FBI and the two go on the run from the police, taking Translucent's unconscious body with them. They then go and meet Frenchie, 1000 points to whoever guesses what country he's from. Meanwhile the people at Vault Tower are trying to find out what happened to Translucent as he's now deemed missing. Meanwhile Frenchie, Huey and Billy then trap Translucent in an electric cage covered by foil. Frenchie then says that killing Translucent is impossible as he has an impenetrable skin. Homelander then questions Stillwell as to whether she has found Translucent and then she questions him about the plane he took down last episode. And Homelander reveals that he overheard her being threatened about Compound V. And Homelander then threatens the Deep as it was the Deep who told Stillwell about the plate. Frenchie then manages to develop a bullet that could potentially penetrate Translucent's skin. Billy then fires it at Translucent but it ricochets off him and Translucent says that the Seven will come after him. The ricocheted bullet damages the protective foil allowing the people at Vault to track down Translucent. The Deep and Starlight talk about what happened the night before and Starlight tells the Deep that he is nothing and he is worthless and they do a drug bust which Vault then uses as a marketing opportunity. Billy then meets up with Susan Rayner asking to see some files and the two seem to be getting <laughs> freaky Why? with each other. Huey then questions Translucent about Robin's death as Translucent and A-Train are tight with each other. Dilworth then meets with the senator and she asks if she can deploy the soups into the army but he doesn't want someone like Homelander on the front line. Whilst this is happening Starlight saves a woman from two guys and the whole fight is being recorded. Meanwhile the senator gets tricked into doing the deed with Doppelganger who then takes photographs after shifting into the mail and uses it to blackmail him. Ashley then reveals to Starlight that her secret identity has been exposed and the video makes it look like she's just beating up two random innocent men which is not the case. Stillworth then blackmails the senator using the photos and Homelander heads to crime analytics to find out where Translucent is. Meanwhile Frenchie realizes that Translucent is like a turtle and though his skin may be impenetrable from the outside, inside he is a normal human being so they stick a bomb up his butt. Translucent then pleads for his life and reveals info about A-Train's girlfriend Popclaw. Homelander then arrives near the place and interrogates Frenchie but Billy then creates a distraction and Homelander heads that way and Huey detonates the bomb. Frenchie and Billy then clean up the remains of Translucent and find clothes for Huey. It turns out that the girl that Starlight saved had come forward and said that it was was her in fact being saved, gaining Starlight tons of popularity and attention. So Stillwell shows Starlight a more revealing costume, but Starlight refuses to wear it, rightfully so. But Stillwell then says that she can only be in the Seven if she wears the costume, so she reluctantly agrees. Billy then meets up with Mother's Milk, honestly don't ask about his name, I have no clue, and asks MM to join the boys once again. But MM refuses, saying that he's happy living his normal life. But Billy says that they have killed Translucent and plan to bring down the Seven, which entices MM to join once again. Homelander fears that Translucent might be dead, and the boys then stake out Popclaw's apartment as they plan to sneak into her apartment and spy on her. Huey then runs into A-Train who doesn't recognize him at all. As the boys watch Popclaw's apartment they overhear A-Train talking about the race tomorrow and he considers using Compound V. But Popclaw mentions that the last time he used it he ran through Robin and she's also mad that A-Train won't make their relationship public. The boys then arrive at the race and Huey says that killing Translucent felt good to which MM says that this is what A-Train must have felt like after killing Robin. Frenchie then sneaks into A-Train's room to find Compound V except that he couldn't find it and A-Train then darts away to take 
takes some V before the race and obviously ends up winning. MM then watches Popeye as she takes some V and is mad about A train and ends up killing her landlord as they got quite busy with each other. The boys then use this to blackmail Popclaw into giving them more information about Compound V. Homeland and the Deep then show Stillwell a box containing translucent remain with a secret message saying, coming for you. We then see a cleanly shaved Billy having a dream about his wife. Then in the present, Billy tells Rainer that they can prevent soups from joining the military. She doesn't care as they don't have any physical sample of Compound V despite having video evidence of Poplaw. Poplaw then reveals that Compound V comes from a facility near a noodle shop. MM and the others then head to that noodle shop where they follow a guy into the barred part of the noodle shop and they find a girl trapped in a prison. And despite being warned not to, they free the girl. And oh my god, it turns out that this girl is also a soup and she goes on a really violent killing spree but at least the deep is now becoming a joke and he goes through a crisis of a feeling like one of the weakest members of the seven the boys then manage to find a vial of compound v and realize that this girl has been dosed on compound v who he then goes on a date with starlight so they can tap her phone and find out more details about the seven Dilworth then finds out that a plane has been hijacked so she sends Maeve and Homelander to that plane that way the government will have no way to refuse soups being in the military but Homelander does a Homelander and goes overkill and destroys the ship's control panel however unlike Superman he can't carry the plane on his back and save everyone and so are we really gonna say that Homelander could beat Superman but unlike Homelander I bet you can beat Superman to the subscribe button Homelander then lets the plane crash and Maeve regrets not having saved everyone and feels terribly guilty this plane will become an important plot point later down the line so remember this Frenchie then stockpiles on weapons to subdue the girl but he seems to have a soft side for her. The deep then goes on a side quest to save some dolphins before they are accidentally brutally killed. Huey and Starlight then go on a bowling date where Huey finds out that Translucent had a son. The boys then go on a hunt for the female and MM and Frenchie start arguing. So as any good leader does, Billy gives a rousing speech about the Spice Girls and how they flopped when they split apart but were goated when they stuck together. And so the team has to stick together to win. The female however is found by Adrian and the two fight but thanks to Frenchie's quick thinking they free the girl by causing a fan meetup and then we see Maeve be depressed over the wreckage of the plane and Homelander twists the story so that he can use this as an opportunity to declare that soups should be in the military. Popclaw then tells A-Train that she revealed the secret location of Compound V to the boys and A-Train overdoses her with Compound V causing her to die. Homelander then confronts A-Train about his Compound V usage and A-Train states that he's come clean and will find the female. At a Christian expo where Starla and Huey go, Billy then shows Huey and MM footage of Ezekiel, the super Christian homophobic soup, doing some sus activity with male soups in the Zeke soup bar. Ironic. Billy's plan is to use Huey to blackmail Zeke with this footage into revealing more about Compound V. Now I think it's important to say that Homelander has this weird mummy fetish where he has this weird relationship with Stillwell where she both nurtures him as a mother and a lover. And Homelander is also jealous of her baby. And how do I put this? Uh, the baby keeps stealing his milk. I'll leave it at that. Homelander is then giving the speech to the Christian Expo which is supposedly going to help get soups in the military or something. Huey then gets baptized by Homelander who almost drowns him as a threat and Huey then black Mails Ezekiel by pretending to be one of the men there at the night because his phone had been water damaged and Ezekiel reveals the location of the compound V factory. Meanwhile A train finds footage of Popclaw's interrogations from the night where she sat on the guy and he catches Frenchie's face and, and tries to track them down. MM and Butcher then head to the hospital where the compound V is injected into babies. Everyone is shocked to find out that soups are in fact manufactured and not naturally born. This then leads to an awesome fight scene where Butcher uses the babies a lot like Jack Jack and shoots down the men using the laser eyes of the babies. Meanwhile back at the expo store Starlight is made to give a speech prepared by her mother but Starlight goes off script and exposes her essay in episode 1 but she doesn't actually name the deep. Black Noir then finds Frenchie and the female and the female pulls up to fight Black Noir and she almost dies but at least she has regeneration powers. Butcher then says to the boys that he might finally have enough evidence to present to Reyna. At Vought Tower we see that Ashley got fired for Starlight going off script and still will berate Starlight over going off script but Starlight then counters saying that if she were to be fired right now it would look really bad now that she is a victim of SA. Frenchie then reveals to MM that they could use another soup called Mesmer to find out information about the female. Mesmer is this child actor who has the ability to read minds and is now a much older person. Stillwell then forces the deep to take a break from the seven. Basically bro is fired from the seven and is also made to make an apology video. MM then meets Mesmer at meet and greet and offers him visitations from his daughter in exchange for him reading the female's mind. Meanwhile Billy and Huey talk with each other. Billy is trying to convince Huey that soups aren't all good and it's best that he actually keeps his distance from Starlight since Huey has started to develop feelings towards Starlight. 
Meanwhile, Mesmer reveals that the female is named Kimiko and was a terrorist who was kidnapped from her village. This then leads to the boys questioning about why Vought would even give terrorists Compound V. Bailey then realises that Vought wishes to manufacture soup terrorists, meaning that the government will have no choice but to allow soups into the military. Butcher then reveals his findings to Reyna with a list of demands, those being an office and a salary for the boys and the prosecution of Homelander. She agrees to the first two but says that the last one might cause too much chaos, and it turns out that Mesmer had taken secret photographs of the boys and had given it to Homelander. We see a flashback of Billy and Becca at Ford's Christmas party where we see Homelander thank Becca for taking care of his social media accounts. Then in the present, we see the Deep write his memoir, titled Deeper, a memoir. Homelander then assembles the seven and shows them pictures of the boys saying that Huey is taking revenge for the death of Robin and questions Starlight whether she knows anything about Huey since Homelander doesn't know about him being her boyfriend. Huey's dad is then threatened by A-Train, making the boys aware of the fact that they are exposed. Huey then goes to meet A-Train and makes a deal. He will give A-Train some compound V in exchange for his father. And once his father is safe, Kimiko attacks A-Train. Butcher then kills Mesmer as he exposes them to Homelander. Homelander then questions Dr. Vogelbaum, the creator of Homelander, about Becca. He says that Becca had come to see him after finding out she was pregnant, but she had died in childbirth along with the child. Reyna then goes to Stowell and tells her to withdraw soups from the military. But right after saying this, Reyna has shown footage of soup terrorists blowing up a SEAL team base, causing Reyna to perhaps rethink the deal. Huey then meets up with Starlight, who is mad at him for using her to get back at A-Train, and Huey tells her about Compound V. Reyna then tells Billy that the CIA have decided to keep the truth about Compound V silent for the benefit of both parties, and she also reveals that the boys are now wanted criminals. Starlight then questions her mother about Compound V. She then finds out that she isn't, in fact, a gift given from God, but was given Compound V as a baby, which breaks Starlight. Huey then asks for Starlight's help, who refuses as she's mad that he would even ask for help after using her, but he says that she's a superhero and it's her job to do do the right thing. Starlight then gets a pep talk from her idol Queen Maeve and this convinces Starlight to help the boys. Homelander then drops a bunch of truth bombs on Stillwell saying that it was him who had manufactured the soup terrorist to ensure that they can get soups in the military. He then confronts her about her contradicting story about Becca. Stillwell then apologizes to Homelander for not telling him about the child. MM and Frenchie are trapped in a cage. Huey is then also captured and thrown into the cage. It turns out that Huey had willingly gotten himself captured to free the others and the boys go looking for Kimiko. Starlight then comes to help as she wants to be a superhero. But the A-Train arrives and fights Starlight, but apparently A-Train is both faster and not faster than Light, and A-Train grabs hold of Huey and plans to kill him, but suffers a heart attack from all the V he's been taking. Butcher, meanwhile, is at Stillwell's house and holds her baby hostage so he can question her about Homelander's weakness. She says he has none, but Billy then says that he knows that she is his weakness. Butcher then straps a whole bunch of C4s on Stillwell before Homelander arrives. Homelander then questions Billy and about his motives. Billy says that he just wants to hurt Homelander for what he did to his wife. To which Homelander reveals that he didn't actually kill Becca. It turns out that Homelander had visited Vogelbaum again and asked for the real truth about Becca, who was actually alive with her son in witness protection. Homelander then lasers Stillwell's face for lying to him, and as her house blows up, Homelander saves Billy and brings him to a house where Billy wakes up to see a kid who happens to be Homelander's kid, and Becca is alive. Subscribe and comment below your favourite bit of the season.